Today, my second generation Peshies take over and create this German style pancake called a Dutch baby. This simple recipe rises to the occasion by combination of whipped and aerated eggs mixed into a sweet batter. It's cooked in a cast iron pan in under 30 minutes to create a lift that resembles something magical. Make sure you preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and you're going to let this put this skillet in the oven to heat up for 10 minutes. So while that's in the oven, we're going to prep up our batter in this blender right here. So you're going to want to start off with three eggs. Careful the eggshells don't poke you. They poke me all the time. And then after the eggs, we're gonna add our flour, a half a cup of flour, our half cup of whole milk, or you could use 2%. Tablespoon of sugar, a pinch of nutmeg, and then we're gonna blend this concoction. You could also hand mix it. Or you could hand mix it. As you're going, and what you're gonna, and what you're looking for is a battery like texture. A, uh, pancake mix kind of. Yeah, like a pancake mix. I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. They're not deaf; they can hear you. <laughs> About 30 seconds, maybe. That looks good. All right, and once your battery. Your battery concoction is done. You, you're gonna take your you're gonna take your skillet out of the oven and you're gonna add four, four tablespoons, tablespoons of butter. You may say this is a lot of butter, but, but trust me, it's gonna turn out very good. And we'll just let that sit. Wait for that to melt. All right, we're almost done here. And you want to make sure you do move your butter around. Because when it moves around, it really picks up that heat. And it doesn't Because if you let it sit, it's gonna burn. It's, well, it's gonna burn. it can, but it won't melt as fast. So then you're gonna wanna take your batter and, pour and you're gonna pour it in your the pan. Melted butter pan. Slowly. So then you're gonna wanna put this into your oven for 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. All right, so our Dutch baby is done cooking in the oven. Now we're gonna take it out, plate it up, and show you what it looks like, and tell you what it tastes like. Dutch baby. So this is what it looks like. That blender really incorporated air, so and that's why it rose, because there is no yeast, baking soda, or baking, baking powder, powder in it. So. If you do mix it, you want to make sure you whip it and get it incorporate and get air incorporated into it. You can really smell that egg in there. I mean, it puffed up. I'm shocked. Finish to finish it, we're gonna sprinkle some powdered sugar on top, deliberately. Here. This is for the people in the shop. All right, so we're going to slice this into a pie shape. Right, and then hold on, stop. Where did you get your pie? Right here. So just pull this out. Take, oh, you do it. Take this out. Then we're going to add some more powdered sugar onto it. Oh, yeah, that's good. And then we're gonna add some syrup onto it syrup. to finish it off. Squeeze it.
And now, all there's left to do is to taste this breakfast. That's good. This is a good breakfast. It was simple, easy, quick. Quick and delicious. delicious. Now, if you want to see even more great tasting recipes like this one, click that like button and subscribe to this channel. The full recipe is on And you can find the full recipe on www.peshiskitchen.com. All right, that's going to do it for this one, guys. See you next week.